On today's Church Mag Spotlight, we have with us Tommy Scully. He is an audio pro, like serious audio pro. I mean, if you are starting a new church, if you are a veteran church, if you need anything regarding audio, this is your man. Uh, and with that, Tommy, tell us real quick, real briefly, a little bit about yourself and all the awesome that you do. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Eric. Hey there, Church Mag. I'm Tommy Scully, and I've been working in the audio industry for over 10 years, specifically with churches for over 10 years. And I started out just, I was always a big guy, so I always started out, you know, moving sound gear around place to place, started out hooking it up. So even as I was in high school, I was I was working with sound, I was playing with wires, and over the years I got to learn more and learn more. I went to school, went the audio Institute of Audio Research, and I uh, graduated with a 4.0 from there, and I've been working with church audio for so long that over the years, the, the video elements have come in, and so now I've been working with the video, and at this point, I'm in a really unique spot because I've always worked with web development and computers and as sort of a hobby, putting together websites and doing that kind of a thing, and so now I'm at a position where... I'm really starting to marry these the audio video world and the IT world when it comes to live streaming. And so I've got I've, I've positioned myself in a place where I can I can talk the language of the AV guys. I can talk the language of the IT guys and now we're we're bridging that gap when it comes to live streaming, video on demand, getting church services online, working with the web development for churches and broadening their their online impact. So what you're saying is that you are bilingual. I am very bilingual, absolutely. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Tell me, tell us a little bit about, um, there, there's two really cool services that you have. You have a consulting and you have um, some training videos. And I think that is so cool because I've received so many emails from from pastors that are just starting a church or small churches that don't have the robust volunteer staff or perhaps just the right person attending their church that knows a lot about sound or they have somebody volunteering for sound that is just like that you know their hearts into it but they just want to learn more tommy tell us a little bit about those services that you offer sure yeah i'll talk about the dvds first i put together this audio training 101 it's the complete guide for church sound training I put it together specifically for churches that are in a position that are really beginning to heavily rely on, on the audio technology, but don't necessarily have the staff or the funding to be able to uh, either hire a full-time guy or even pay, pay somebody to come in to do a training. And so it's, it's targeted directly towards churches that are working with volunteers that are, that are looking for more education in the way of, of audio training. So I put together this, it's four DVDs, they're about an hour each, and it goes through all the way from the very basics of what is sound, how do you work with the soundboard, up to uh, mixing techniques specifically for worship, uh, the dynamics from the worship team to the tech team and how, how that can often work. And um, along with the set, there is a CD that has... Uh, an ebook that I wrote that is sort of goes hand in hand with the DVDs, and there's study guides and resources on that CD, all of which are totally DRM free. So when your church buys a copy, you can make as many copies for your tech team, for anybody in your congregation as you'd like. So hand it out, pass it out, spread the word, and I just really, my heart is really to support ministry with technology, and so. The more that I can get that out there and get your team trained, the better. <clears throat> yeah, that is a very, very true story. I know uh, the thing about your videos. L let me just say, you know, I've got many years of audio experience, enough that I'm afraid to say because then it'll date me, right? Um, and when I moved uh, in to help out the church tech team at uh, my church back in the United States doing audio video stuff. Uh, having the audio background that I had had was a lot more post-production and not nearly as much live. And so 
even though I was very well versed in sound and sound design and audio boards and all these technical aspects, there were so many little extra things that are really helpful to know. And like I said, even with the experience at my church and my my history in post production, um, your videos have bits and pieces that even the most veteran guys. Uh, can certainly appreciate because you go on site to a lot of different churches and you've seen a lot of different scenarios. Um, talk a little bit about the consulting that you do, Tommy. Yeah. So as a part of uh, one of the things that I do, I, I travel around the country. I get to do that anyway because I'm a part of a couple of different conferences. And <laughs> Excuse me. And so um, the DVDs are sort of the entry point, whereas you know a lot of churches – they they need they need somewhere to start for the churches that are 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 probably looking for a little bit more than just the DVDs about bringing somebody on site. I offer a couple of different types of consulting packages actually, where um, where I can come on site and I do what's called audio optimizations. And one of the one of the fun parts about traveling around going to different churches is I love problem solving, and so. I walk into a new church, I clap around, I'm listening to the room and seeing how everything's configured. I could just, just see you now going around. I what, do. What, uh, what's that guy doing? What's that bald-headed, <laughs> bearded man doing? He's going around clapping. <laughs> yeah. I try to do it when nobody else is in the room. Ah, good move. See, that's a pro move right there. Me, I'd be walking around, people would be staring. <laughs> so... um. I, I just really enjoy, you know, finding finding ways to optimize things, making things better, making things more efficient. And so um, I can either go on site and, and, and look at the audio video systems and find ways to make them work or upgrade with, with the drastic price decrease in technology lately. It's so much more affordable for churches to start doing things like streaming live, to start videotaping their services to start, you know, sending out these messages over multiple mediums, whether that's on CD, DVD, video on demand, online, it, you know, what used to cost, you know, tens of thousands of dollars now only costs a couple thousand dollars. So yeah, to get started. Um, and, and what I think yeah. is so wonderful about your service, your services, Tommy, um, is that, you know, because it is relatively inexpensive to do, a lot more people can do it, but getting it set up and getting it tweaked and getting that quote-unquote pro sound um, can't be done by just anyone. And the nice thing about hiring a guy like you or bringing somebody like you in is you can go in, you can calibrate, you can tweak, you can get it t to have that, you know, the optimum sound, get that pro sound, that polished look and, and feel and sound, and then... Uh, the volunteers that are there can can continue with that trend, okay, yeah. and continually have that. So you know the the pastors or uh, media pastors or you know whatever uh, you are in church leadership, you know if your multimedia needs that that extra edge or that extra polish or is downright awful because trust me, I've been to some churches and you're just like, oh my goodness, you know what is what is going on and maybe maybe their ears are just used to it it was never set up well but as a sound as a sound person myself you know uh you know when a room doesn't sound good and that's what i think is so great i mean are you selling services yeah you need to be paid for your time but that isn't what this this interview is about what this is about is you sharing your heart and passion about the church having good sounding audio because the truth of the matter is when you have people Visiting your church, okay, for the first time, saved or not, most people know what good sound sounds like. I mean, people's home stereos sound great anymore. I mean, you practically have a movie theater, you're in your house, and you go to a church and it sounds awful. You know, they're not thinking about the worship. They're not thinking about the minister. All they're thinking is, oh, my gosh, this sounds terrible, you know? So, I mean, you're, you're resourcing the church in a wonderful way, and that's why – we highlighted you on today's Church Mag Spotlight. Tommy, thank you so much for your time.